My Jetta gets to temp, but the heater doesn't work. It usually means the heater cores out. That's what we're gonna replace today. Take this off. We gotta get to the hoses back there. I already removed uh, intake tubing, uh, so we can kinda get right there. <clears throat> Behind the intake, you're gonna see these two hoses. That's, that goes to your heater core. The reason you wanna disconnect those is to have a little more movement on the tubes below and to make sure you don't get any more coolant shooting down there when you disconnect them. So this top hose is gonna have the clip on the right. So you just slide a screwdriver in there and pop it off and then just pull it back and it'll snap off. This is the bottom one and the clip is on the opposite side. It's gonna be on the left side. So just, again, same thing, flathead screwdriver, pop it out and pull it to release it. Okay, so I have a drip pan underneath the car to catch any loose coolant that's gonna come out. And also, definitely need to mention, do not have the car hot. Um, let the car sit for a bit. If you just drove it, let it cool down, help the coolant kind of relax into where it needs to be. But for the most part, so you don't get burned. So underneath the driver's steering wheel, uh, we're gonna be removing this panel, that panel there. There's a T20 right there. We're gonna take that off and then this panel should pop right off. Feels like it wants to slide up. All right. Okay. All right, I'm not sure if you saw that. I'm just gonna have to pull on it. All right, here's the panel I removed. Again, nothing broke. It's just, uh, it's held on some clips here. So we have that one, so you wanna slide it back. And then the rest are just kind of clips that hold it on top. We're gonna to take this bottom piece off, this whole dash, bottom piece. And to do that, <clears throat> this is where your scanner is, your OBD2 scanner. You're gonna take this one off, and take that one off. Those are both T20s. There's one right under the center. Uh, let's see, you're gonna take, uh, you're gonna take that one off. And then one more over here. Uh, right there, you see that one? That one too, I'm gonna take that one off. These are already loose. Okay, there's three. It's kind of hidden. All right, there's two more. All right, so on this, you're gonna push in, twist, and pull. See how that pops right out? Great. <clears throat> there is another screw in there. See that one? Now on the side here, you're gonna need, uh, just get your flathead to get it started. And you're gonna pop this piece off. And you have, where is it? There it is. You have another one right there. That should be the last one. And then this whole panel comes off. Look at that. There we go. Okay, there's nothing here. It's just held on a clip. This side should pop off as well. Good. Yours won't look as bad as mine. This actually goes to my underglow, which actually stopped working, so I need to figure out what happened there. With the panel off, you got the headlight switch. You can actually unplug it right here, right there. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so you also got another switch here for the dimmer. Just push this in and wiggle that out. All right, so the reason we took that off is because we needed to get to those two T20s right there. There's one right there and another one right there. With that shield in front of it, it, we wouldn't have been able to get those off. So now we can get to them. Let's loosen those and pop that plastic vent off. Bam. All right, so this was the piece we were trying to take off. 
This should give us a little bit more room right there to get it off. So that is it. There's the heater core. You want to get ready for the coolant that's going to come out. Um, rags, a towel. Um, I've seen people even use a diaper, and I think that's, uh, that's the method we're going to use. Um, I saw it, and it was pretty effective. All right, diaper in place. We're going to be removing these uh, heater core hoses. Got our Allen keys, and this one doesn't take much to loosen. Oh, maybe all the way. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Okay, so take the screw completely out, and you'll be able to spread the clamp. There we go. Just took a little more uh, effort than I thought. Okay, so again with a little force, just pull them down. We'll let that leak down. All right, now we do the top. The top one is actually a, just a clip. So, just grab a little hook tool, and you're just gonna pull this down. There we go. All right, so here's a picture of the top clamp. You just pull it down. It's going to be situated like that. I, well, no, no, I had it right the first time. Now we're going to be taking the taking this um, yellow lever off to get a little more clearance because there's a bolt right there as well. All right, so that little lever is actually your climate control. If you want to move it towards the heat, that way you can get a better angle to remove it. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so you can see there, I'm gonna have a tough time getting it unhooked. Just go ahead and crank it to hot, and the lever will move. There we go. Yeah, I just need two hands. All right, so lever's loose. We're just gonna kind of push it to the side there where it holds. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. And the rest is pretty simple here. We got, got two bolts to remove, and then three, four. All right, uh, yes, it is a six millimeter. And the two up top. This is the cover. Once the cover's off and you want to get this piping out of the way, you want to push this lever up out of the way. And then you can move this, this hose up out of the way. And then you can slide your you can slide your heater core up. <laughs> this goes up. And you can pull from the bottom. There we go. Some things just better with two hands. So here's the cause of all your problems. Clogged heater core. Apparently it's very common and it happens a lot. Best thing to do is just replace it. I've heard of people flushing them, cleaning them, putting them back in. Um, but again, sometimes these are just so corroded to where even that won't save it. And if you're gonna be in there anyway, might as well just replace it and have peace of mind. Word of caution, guys, be very careful with this sharp edge right here sticking out when you're getting your head under there. I knocked myself a couple of times on the forehead just trying to get under there. Um, hey, man, it happens. Uh, this is how we learn. So here's the new one. 
Um, it's got similar clamps, so it does come with clamps. Um, I'll be removing those. We won't need them. And uh, this one was ordered from FCP Euro for about $108, I think. $108, bucks. Uh, pretty much the cheapest place I found them. Comes with the whole assembly. And we're just gonna we're just gonna use this piece. This is what fails, not this. Only this. Just wanted to compare the old coil to the new one. All right, so both are pretty much identical. This one has uh, this felt right there, which we're gonna install. <clears throat> and this will just go on the side here. Also, with the hoses removed, we're gonna use these O-rings. We're gonna go ahead and replace them since we have them. Back underneath the car, I think we're good on the diaper. Just pull that out. As I mentioned before, we are going to place these worn O-rings, these now 10 year old O-rings. This is a 2012. This one has one too, pop that off. Put the new O-rings in. All right, great. All right, here we go. Make sure not to buzz my head this time. And push up, up and over. Okay, it was a lot firmer than I thought it would be. I'm gonna put the cover back on. All right. Hose is back on. That one's in. Got the last screw in, now we just got to do the brackets. Just make sure the clamp is, is over the actual fitting. That clamp on tight, just make sure it's on there. We're going to put this quick clamp onto the top. just slide right on. Next is the lever. I'm going to put the lever back on. That right, clips back on and test it there. Clip is on. Just make sure it's snug. Everything is not gonna move and that is it pretty much that's you did it you, you, you install the new heater core awesome all right back in the engine bay we just want to reinstall the hoses remember to have the clip out and you're gonna seat it and you're gonna push in you're gonna hear it clink you'll feel it you'll feel it connect push the clip in okay those are good now we're gonna Reinstall the intake, and we'll fire it up. Uh, last thing would be, if you're low on coolant and you need to top off, some distilled water would be fine. Now, if you lost a lot of coolant, you could pick some of this up. Uh, this is also an FCP Euro. Uh, I ordered this just in case. It's not the 50-50, so you will need to mix it. Good stuff to have, anyway. Top off, 
if you need to. Make sure all your connections are tight. Um, yeah, let's just test it out. Good to go. Turn this off. Lights are on. No. So if there's any leaking here. Looks like we're good so far. We have heat, guys. Yeah, that's heat. Really cool. The Jetta has heat again, thanks to a brand new heater core. Easy job to do, you could do it also. If you made it to the end of this video, or if this video helped you out, give this video a like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.